Hello and welcome back to part 2. In this video, I'm going to turn on this beast over here, which is not a thousand watt, it is 700 watt high pressure mercury vapor lamp. It is a NOS Soviet made 1979 Soviet mercury vapor lamp that was used in street lighting. I will, I will run this, this lamp on the same contraption I ran my 400 watt Soviet high pressure sodium lamp. Uh, but for the ballast I will use a space heater because the kettle is a bit too weak for this lamp because it is a massive art tube and I tested this lamp on this thing a while back and it works up like a perfect ballast. I think it's about 2.5 kilowatts. So, let's begin. I will turn on this. The lamp is now on. As you can see, one thing to note on these Soviet lamps, the phosphor coating is very, very thin. So, you can easily see the arc inside. But mind that the glass is... Is, uh, the, is the, the kind of glass that doesn't let the UV to penetrate it into the atmosphere. So, there is no, no UV that is sitting me right now that I'm sitting next to it. It's just the blue light I can see. So, the ballast, which is, is this space heater, is now on. It is actually a very old thing. It was made in 1995. And my mom had it for 20 years now, but it still works like a charm. It is now blowing out very hot air, but it is a good device, good old device, not that Chinese stuff we have today. This will work for another 20 years like a charm with no problems. So the lamp is bit by bit reaching its full brightness. This lamp take, it takes a while to reach full brightness because it is it has a massive arc tube and I really don't think that this thing is even powerful enough for this lamp but in a minute or two it will reach a full brightness right now I shall say it is at 35% of full brightness mind that that I am not looking directly into this lamp I am looking through the phone because the lamp is too bright for me to safely look at it. I will have a blind spot in my sight for the whole two hours if I look at this lamp. It is very, very bright. The lamp is at now 50% full brightness. So actually, guys, let me know what you think about my contraption in the comments below. I spent two hours making it. Oh, and if you're interested in schematics, I can show you how I designed this contraption. This is the drawing of this schematic. This shows the plug socket in which I can turn on, I can plug in the ballast. So this is 220 volts that comes in, and this is the igniter that can be switched off with these two switches. And so you can initiate the arc on metal halide or high pressure sodium lamps with igniter or switch it off to just use the ballast across the mercury vapor lamp. Mm -hmm. So this is the schematic if you want to try this on your own. Wow, this lamp is bright. Like hugely bright. Oh my god. Uh, as you can see, as the lamp progresses to warm up, the, this thing over here is getting slower and slower, the fan inside, and it's actually barely spinning anymore, and the heat is almost non-existent, because uh, the arc is now almost at full brightness, and it is limiting the current that can draw from this thing. At least, I think so. That is how to explain it. As you can see, it is barely spinning anymore. <laughs> yeah. So, this is a bright lamp, mind you guys. It is very bright. 
my whole room now is like massively bright and the heat from this lamp is just amazing i will switch it off in a moment right now because i don't feel comfortable sitting in front of this lamp like this bright and hot this thing is almost stopped spinning and no heat at all is from it this is how bright this lamp is like oh my fucking god oh i'm sorry i didn't want to swear okay i'm switching to get it off now it is off look at those electrodes they're they're the size of my pinky fingernail so Thanks for watching, and again, I debunk the myth that you can use various appliances that are not based on a transformer to turn on many different lamps. On a, third, on a third video, I will try to use a 1000 or 500 watt incandescent lamp to ballast a 100 watt high pressure sodium lamp. So, I will be waiting for you guys in part 3. So, goodbye.